I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore the value of trigonometric ratios when we have a point on the coordinate axis. The question here is, given the point P minus 1 0 lying on the terminal arm of an angle theta, state the value of theta using both a counterclockwise and a clockwise rotation and part B is determine the primary trigonometric ratios. So let us explore. Uh, how we can find the trigonometric ratios and the angle for the given point. Point P is minus 1, 0. That is to say, let us say this is minus 1 for us and y value is 0. So that becomes point P for us. Now since it is on in the standard position, so it makes an angle of theta. So what is the angle theta? So let us say this is the point P for us. Now, the angle theta for us will be, if you go clockwise, then it will be 180 degrees, correct? Counterclockwise, it is, so if it is counterclockwise, it is 180 degrees. Counterclockwise angles are always positive, and therefore, we could write this angle theta as equals to 180 degrees. However, if you go clockwise, then clockwise angles are negative. So this could be written also as equals to minus 180 degrees, right? Initial law when placed in standard position is along the positive x-axis, and that is the terminal arm, right? So the ray goes through point P, and the angle we're talking about is as shown here. So that is part A of this question. Now we need to determine primary trigonometric ratios in this position where the value of P is minus 1, 0. So that's the coordinate point P we are talking about. Now clearly what you can see here is that the distance R is also equal to 1, right? So we could write this as the X value is minus 1, Y value is 0 and r, the length of the arm of the triangle being formed is a square plus b square square root which will always be positive and that is 1 in this particular case. Now, to find the primary trigonometric ratios, we can say that sine theta is equals to the y value, the height, which is 0 in this case. It is y over r, which is equals to 0 over 1 and that is 0. Sine theta is 0. Now let's find cos theta. So cos theta is equals to x over r, right? So the x value is minus 1. Minus 1 over 1 gives you minus 1. Tan theta is always y over x. y is 0. x is minus 1. So you again get 0. So these are the values of primary trigonometric ratios, right? So for any value of coordinate point P, X, Y in general, these are the ratios. Now as an extended question, let us consider some other points. And as an exercise, it is up to you to solve and write down similar answers. So I'll give you three more points here, which <coughs> you should explore and write down your answers. So let us consider a point which is let us say here and the coordinate points coordinates of this point P is 0 1 right 0 1 let's consider a point on this side so point P here will be the 0 values for X and Y values minus 1 and one we already have here let us consider on this side where the point P is 1 0 now, as an exercise, what you're supposed to do is write both positive and negative angles to this point and these ratios, correct? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Let me first write down the angles, right? So, theta is equals to what in all these cases? Let's figure that out. So, 1, if I go counterclockwise, 90 degrees in this case, correct? So, we write... 90 degrees 
as far as clockwise goes, it will be negative 270. Do you see that? So that is negative 270. So I'll write minus 270 degrees. Here in this particular case, clockwise is 270 degrees and counterclockwise will be 90 degrees, right? So 90 degrees with a negative sign, correct? And in the last case, angle is zero if you go clockwise and even if you go counterclockwise, you could actually, you could go like this here, right? So kind of like this, okay? So you could write this as zero or minus 360. So that could be the angle for the given angle. Now in all these three or other four examples, remember one part that our initial arm is x-axis so that is the initial arm remember that initial arm and point is on the terminal arm so this is the terminal arm right so terminal arm the angle formed is between the initial and the terminal arm and we are calling that angle to be theta right so that is how we are getting all the results so that is the and both are on the same line. Do you get the idea? So these are the angles, correct? Now let's write down all our ratios. In each case, R value is 1. You can see that, right? So in general, we will write sine theta as y over r, correct? Cos theta as x over r, and tan theta as ratio of y and r in general right so so that is the general value for any coordinate point given to us and now specifically to these three cases here we know x value is 0 y is 1 so this is in this particular case is 1 over 1 equals to 1 for cos theta it is going to be 0 over 1 right so which is 0 for tan theta y over 0, right? So it is 1 over 0, which is undefined. This is very important to cons consider, right? Now, in this particular case, what is sine theta? Sine theta is x value, y value is minus 1 over 1, so it is minus 1 here, right? Cosine theta is x value of 0, so 0 over anything is 0. Tan theta will be equals to y over zero right so y over zero is again undefined so which is minus one over zero so we get undefined so if the terminal arm is along the y-axis in that case tan theta is undefined in the last case we have sine theta equals to the y value is zero so it is zero over one over which is zero cos theta equals to one over one which is one and tan theta will be equal to 0 over 1 which is 0 right so these are the solutions for the point on the x or y axis right i hope this exercise helps you to understand that sine theta is the ratio of y over r cos theta is x over r tan theta is equal to y over x and where r is basically square root of x square plus y square which is always positive in our case it was one because either one of these values was zero or one correct so that is how you could do such questions i hope that helps thank you